What's up gamers? My name is Ron and I'm coming back with a new video. The new video is about a gameplay. eFootball PS21 light version gameplay. If you start this gameplay, please like, subscribe and share. Hope you enjoy it. Let's go. Wait to loading. Oh, Cristiano Ronaldo. Ah. He back to the Manchester United. One toss, goodbye. And now we'll come back to the Manchester United. Messi out of Barcelona. Go to the Paris Saint Germain. Set data downloading. Hmm. Light version. It's free. Go and download from PlayStation Store. Wait, loading. Like PS. I don't like FIFA. FIFA is not bad, but the game has a lots of block. Glitch. You know, you see a lot of video about FIFA. And I saw there was a lot of bots. A big ball. Picket for um, players. I don't know. Okay, the download is complete. Let's go. Okay. Kick up, local match. Home. Manchester United. Juventus, FC Bayern Munich, FC Barcelona, Arsenal, Arsenal, just Arsenal. Um, it's okay. Kick off. Yeah. Gamers never die, bro. Gamers never die. Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to what is, in effect, a winter wonderland. The uh, snow-decorated perimeter of the pitch is perfect evidence of this and, indeed, evidence of the efforts that the ground staff have made to get all of the white stuff off the playing surface. The forecasters do say that we will have snow throughout the game, but we have been told absolutely categorically that things aren't expected to get any worse. The atmosphere is terrific. The turnout, considering the weather, is excellent. And you do get the sense that a special event is ahead of us. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game at stages. Two high-profile, high-caliber teams. This is a welcome event for all these supporters. On the face of it, Peter, we would appear to have a high-caliber meeting with very little at stake. But then you consider a, a chance for one or two of the fringe players to get a look in. And this becomes a big incentive. It changes the dynamic. So there's plenty at stake for them, which will do no harm to the energy levels and the overall conviction and hopefully the style of contest. They've got on the way here pretty promptly. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Yeah, Pierre Emmerich Aubameyang, Peter. It's his pace that's his main attribute, especially over those first few yards, where he just seems to glide away from defenders, gets himself into great positions, and likes to hit it hard and nice and early. That's a horrible combination for any defence that's trying to deal with him. I can tell you that. 
They are hard to see past him. He'll be looking to put on a show, I'm certain of that. Tierney. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what are they trying to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Corner, I think. Yeah, it's corner. And that has been clear. Beautifully done. Saka not easily shrugged off the ball. Some good play on the left hand side now to profit from it. That has put a stop to that. And he's certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. Yeah. Away from immediate danger. Brings it forward. Messi. Messi, Messi. Oh no. And here's Griezmann. Griezmann. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Again, Griezmann. Messi, Messi. That's the end of that. It all started well enough. Griezmann. It's Griezmann! Oh, two goals! Oh, that's a fine save! Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. And this could be the final action of the first half. Defending of the desperate variety. That will be the final action of the first half. So now the team has broken through. Certainly not for the want to try. Mm -hmm. Interesting game up to now. But still goals. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Well, they've never really been threatened in the first half. I think it's been a magnificent team effort. The work rate has been superb. Very, very organised. <laughs> and after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change perhaps after half time. The action has already resumed here. No score in the first half. Who's ready to go for it now? Oh, no. Elneny goes looking. He'll have a go. Whoa, too close. Mbele plays it forward. Yeah, I never met. William Walk forward. What does he try from here? Uh, uh. He's gone out of play. Gets it back. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Wrestled off the ball. Hoists it forward. And then he battles to win it back. Tries to get it forward quickly. And it's played forward. Pate. Goes. William drives it forward. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. And it's messy. Barcelona merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Tierney. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Uh -huh. He's 
slid it through. Well, when the options aren't quite present in the box, it's the crosser's interest to uh, to hold on for the support. So that's it. It is all over. Uh, frustrating game for attackers on either side. They hardly had a sniff. Defence is broadly in charge, and it has finished goalless. What are your thoughts on today's game, then, Jim? Listen, the more this game went on, a draw was always likely to be on the card. So, overall, I don't think anyone will be complaining too much about what they've got. And with that, it's time for me to thank Jim Beglin and to wish you a very good evening. See you next time, gamers. Bye.